history achieved in the kennel tonight. Good evening. Thanks so much for staying up late with us tonight. I'm Tim Pham. Gonzaga became the 29th team in Division One history to finish a regular season undefeated with their win over LMU. We have live team coverage tonight of this event. Karthik Venkatraman is standing by live in the newsroom, but first we'll send it out to Brenna Green, who's live in the kennel right now. Brenna. Tim, no 2017 deja vu here in the kennel. Gonzaga came out and for the most part didn't have much of an issue with LMU. Karthik is going to have more on the game tonight, but first we're going to show you what it looked like here when the buzzer sounded. And let me tell you, it did not look like this team had just completed an undefeated regular season. Zero hoopla, zero, zero celebrating. Nothing. There was no senior day speeches, no cutting down of the nets, no trophy presentation. You would have thought this was a non conference game against the Sisters of the Poor in December with their reaction. There was just nothing happening. Mark Few said post game they decided to handle it that way simply because there was no one in the stands. It didn't feel right to treat it like a celebration. However, post game, both Few and Corey Kispert acknowledged how special this moment was. Corey's answer of if he thought he would have thought as the season started that this team could go undefeated may surprise you. No chance. Um, definitely kept that thought and way back, way, way, way back part of my mind, try to block it out. And, you know, as we started winning games, it definitely dawned on me that we had something special going. But I mean, there's so many things kind of working against us, just different teams, you know, their health, you know, our own personal health, uh, nobody in the stands, kind of low energy. It snows all the time here, so it's pretty dark and dreary a lot. So uh, there were a lot of things that we could have used to, you know, as an excuse, but uh, we, pulled, we pulled through and um, fought every single night and it worked out. We've never done it here in this program. And, and uh, I know I've said this before, but it's getting harder and harder to find something that's never been done <laughs> in this program. There's, there's very few things left. So for this group to be able to notch that um, is amazing. And when you factor in, they didn't have the kennel to rely on at all, to me is, is just remarkable. Gonzaga also broke a program record tonight, notching their 51st straight home win. The previous record was 50 straight home wins. They also broke an AP poll record. In 1972, UCLA went 20 straight games, beating teams by double digits as a number one seed. Gonzaga notched their 21st straight game of defeating teams as a number one team by double digits tonight. So just another little bit of history here in the kennel. We'll send it over to Karthik Vinkatraman now with more on this contest. Hey, yeah, Brenna, you know, everything was going well in this game for GU as they ended up winning by that big margin. Uh, obviously, Jalen Suggs, the guy that was really jumping out and getting the Zags fans jumping out their seats plenty of times tonight in this game. He was just scoring and passing, and it was just all incredible. How about this first one right here with Aaron Cook? You're going to see it in a moment. After you see the Zags huddling before the game, they're enjoying themselves because I think they knew they were going to win big. Here's Aaron Cook getting on the ground starting that it was his senior night too. Then Joel Yai feeds it back to Jalen Suggs and how about the dunk right there? That's a pizzazz to start off the game. He brought the sauce and then how about this? Casually no look behind the back pass. Corey Kispert. Kispert had a great night on his senior night. We'll have more from him here in a little bit. And then how about this from Suggs? The defensive play saves the ball from going out of bounds. Gets it to Drew Timmy ahead of the pack for the dunk. That's just greatness once again. Then how about Suggs right here? Going to pull out his do-it-himself kick, getting the rebound, bringing the ball up the court, and then he's going to find Anton Watson cutting for the dunk. Just beautiful stuff in this game. As I said, we're going to bring back Kispert, obviously a fan favorite. He talked about what being at GU all these years meant to him. The word I use is thankful. Um, I have, there's been so many, so many good moments and very few bad moments here. Uh, it's been a roller coaster, but the good totally outweighs the bad. And I've grown up so much since I've got here. So, you know, you know, fans are no fans. That's that's they're people that kind of make this this night special. But I'm just so thankful to wear Gonzaga on my chest, and, and so thankful for the opportunities that it's given me. Because uh, I definitely wouldn't be the same person if I hadn't you know, come here and. Um, I've grown up a ton since I've been in Spokane. 
Just a special night for Corey. I know a lot of people on social media going crazy for him. Jalen Suggs also put on that show that we showed you. Probably his last game in the kennel as well as he's all but certain going to the NBA draft and going to be a lottery pick. Now the Zags aren't going to play again until March 8th in the West Coast Conference Tournament semifinals. So a long layoff before they play again. Tim.